Well, how about y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're up here at the front pasture working on our pig pen again, and hopefully today, we're gonna get our first cross fence complete. I worked on the perimeter fence the other day off camera trying to figure out something. Uh, I think where we left off with this pig pen, I was talking about how I was kind of worried about our perimeter fence ends kind of bowing in with it, just using T-post, and I needed to find a way to brace those up. After looking on Amazon, I realized really quick it's gonna get very expensive uh, buying the hardware to make these T-posts work as a brace post. Uh, so doing what I normally do, I figured out how to do this as cheap as possible. And it's working so far. Let me show you what I did. So actually all I did was I drove in another T-post right here. That's about three and a half foot. I used that T-post right there that's leaning uh, to kind of measure where this post needed to go. And if I had a portable welder or something like that, I would weld it at the bottom right here and weld it at the top. But being that I don't, all I did was drill an eighth inch hole through both T posts, slip the wire through there, and it's kind of just resting down there. If I ever need to, I can go back and drill a hole back down there, but I really don't see the need to. I mean, I'm pushing on this post is pretty hard right now uh, it does have a little play back and forth but the tension of the wire is pulling it that way uh, so i think this is going to work i still need to get some insulators uh, to put on this uh, but i think that's going to work this little lane right here are going to have gates i'm going to build two gates out of wood uh, with probably some hog wire in the middle all i need is two gates i can put one down here and one where i'm standing and whenever i move the pigs over to the next spot. When I open this gate, I can take it there, bring that one here. Eventually I might build some more gates, but for right now all I need is two. And right here, where we have our post drove in for the lane is gonna be another brace post. And up here at our perimeter fence is gonna be another. I went ahead and marked out where all my T posts need to go for the rest of them. So we kind of know where all our T-posts are gonna be, but today we're gonna work on this line right here. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get this line stretched, put the brace post in, hang some wire, and our first cross fence will be done. And then technically, I guess if we clean up some, uh, get two gates built, we can start moving the pigs as early as it probably, maybe three or four days. Uh, so let's get to work. Let's see if we can get this one cross fence knocked out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have some poly wire on a reel we're gonna hook this onto this T-post right here and pull it tight so we can get a good straight line with our T-post that we're about to drive. done i went ahead and did that other end as far as their brace uh, we're going to do this end i'll show you how i'm going to do it basically what we're going to do is take our two t-posts that we got here and we're going to lay one our wire is going to go on this side uh, so i want these barbs on both of these posts to face the side that the fence is going to go on uh, so we can put the insulators on uh, but basically we're just going to lay that up there about where it's going to go and then we're going to come to the other end 
and make them where we're going to put our other T posts. Let me get this drove in the ground and then I'll show you a little bit closer how it fits together. So we've got that drove in. If you can see how that's fitting right there, that T post is just kind of resting in the corner of the other one. And it's doing the same thing at the bottom. It's kind of resting. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and drill a hole straight through this corner of this T post and through that one. And we'll be able to stick a wire through there. And this won't be able to slide up. It's gonna put support onto this T-post. And all I've got is some scrap, 12 gauge wire, high tensile. So slip through that hole, both holes. Just bend it down so it's not gonna come out. Now, this post is good. So now that we got both of our braces done and we also have all our T-posts in, it's time to put on our hardware for our wire. Uh, we're gonna put all our tensioners on the front side uh, just so they're a little easier to get to. Don't have to walk to the back of the pin uh, to tighten these wires up because we do want to keep them tight. Uh, so if I remember correctly, we went eight and 20 inches uh, for the height of our wire. So we're gonna just do that again. This, these two, I mean, these inner fences are only gonna get two strands where our perimeter fence got three strands. That's to keep the horses and the goats out. Uh, we don't want them to come in here, especially the horses and getting uh, tripped up over the wire and get wire wrapped around their feet. Uh, so we're just gonna run two strands in here, one at eight and one at 20. bunch of grass in my way. Got that done, run to the other side and just put our insulators on the other end. So since we're right here, I guess I'll show you. Uh, this wire right here is connected to the wire that we have all the way around our perimeter fence for our goats. Uh, this wire keeps the goat's head getting stuck. 
Uh, we're gonna put an insulator on the back side of this T-post. And this is where we're gonna feed all our power from. This wire is always on. Uh, the front fence of these pig pens will always be hot, but these inner fences will not. We're gonna select the ones that the pigs are in to keep them hot. Uh, just in case, uh, since we are in the woods, in case a limb falls on this pin right here while we're not using it, uh, we wanna be able to cut it off and not drown out our wire. At least that's the idea. Uh, we're just gonna make a wire with some alligator clips on them. And that way we can unhook them and hook up whatever pasture or pin that we want to at the time. Insulator's on, let's start running some wire. One down, one more to go. Well, we got our two wires on. This brace post is done, the other one's done. All I got left to do is put the insulators on, but that's gonna have to wait for another afternoon. I'm supposed to help my brother out with something this afternoon. I got a pretty late start this afternoon. So uh, we're gonna hang it up here for the day. Like I said, all we gotta do is put the insulators on. And I got one tree up there I need to cut out the way. And this first pin is complete other than gates. Do a little bit of cleanup. The pig should be in here hopefully within the next week for sure. I'm not gonna record doing all the other interior fences. They're gonna be the exact same as this. Uh, next time you'll see the pig pen, I don't know if it'll be next video or not, uh, but we're gonna be building the gates for these pens and have them ready to go. And then, like I said, the next step after that is to move some piggies. We, we need to go ahead and start training the pigs to one strand of wire within the Premier One netting uh, just to get them used to this so as soon as they don't get in here they just run through this wire uh, that'd be a disaster uh, so that might be the next video setting that up i'm not sure uh, we'll get them used to that and like i said they'll be moving in here soon but but i really appreciate you hanging out with us if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell leave us a comment and we'll see y'all on the next one what's men say whenever they build stuff <clears throat> That ain't going nowhere.